Before this video starts, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'm going to start by removing the edges of my bread slices and I will be using some of the edges of the bread in this recipe. And I'm cutting my bread into quarter sized pieces. I'm going to um, butter my pan. And I'm going to place my bread into the oven so that it can harden up a little bit. Here in my saucepan, you see me adding my one cup of coconut milk. one cup of coconut cream and one cup of whole milk and I'm simply going to let it heat up just a little bit all right so now I have my milk on the burner I have my bread in the oven and I'm now going to go ahead and mix up my eggs and my sugar I'm using two whole large eggs and one large egg yolk so I'm simply going to go ahead and separate my egg yolk here Alright, so I'm simply whisking my eggs together and I'm going to add all of my ingredients starting with 3 fourths cup of granulated sugar, 1 cup of granulated sugar. You want to make sure that it is mixed well. My bread is ready. This is it. So now I'm adding my seasonings um, and my flavorings. I'm using 1 4 teaspoon of salt here, 1 4 teaspoon allspice, 1 4 teaspoon of nutmeg. Adding in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of butter extract, and one and a half teaspoons of coconut extract. I decided to add my cinnamon in last so that it doesn't blend in with the other um, seasonings and I can pretty much tell how much I have. Now as you can see here I'm not using a whole lot because it is fresh. So with it being fresh um, it's pretty potent so you don't need a whole lot. Here I'm adding a little bit of powdered sugar to my bread pieces. While it's cooling down it's just out of the oven so I'm going to let it cool off a little bit. All right, I'm transferring my milk mixture over to my measuring cup for easier pouring. And to it, I'm adding two tablespoons of butter. And I'm simply just gonna let it melt down in there. And that's simply for extra flavor. lining the bottom of my ramekins with butter and powdered sugar. So 
So I'm whisking in my warm milk mixture and I'm trying to um, add it slowly so that it doesn't cook my eggs. So I'm tempering it in. And I'm going to save just a little bit of the milk mixture to use for my icing. Now we're going to go ahead and add the raisins in there. I meant to let them soak in some rum, but I actually forgot to do that, so I just went ahead and added them in the way that they were. And I'll add a little bit of rum in later. Alright, so everything is mixed in and we're going to go ahead and grab our bread pieces. Now as I'm adding my bread pieces to my mixture, um, I'm making sure that every piece is fully covered. We want it to soak well. And um, I'm going to let it soak for about half an hour. By that time it should have doubled in size. And so we'll be back in about 30 minutes to see what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and finish up. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and dish it up and you want to be careful to not um, fill it all the way to the top, the liquid, because you don't want to um, have it overflow into your oven when it's baking, making a mess. So I'm going to be careful while filling my ramekin dish and look at all those raisins in there. Definitely want to have some of those raisins on top. I'm adding a few teaspoons or a few drops of melted butter on top. This is going to be so good. I can already tell, man. I'm just soaking this bread in butter. This is gonna be yummy. Okay, these are ready to go into the oven now. So we're gonna go ahead and let these bake up and um, we'll be back to see how they turn out. Wow, look at these. Oh my goodness. If I had smell of vision you guys would certainly want to be invited. And you are invited. The statement icing on top is an understatement here because this is like the finishing touch to it, to an already flavorful dessert. This is the perfect dessert to usher in fall. Fall is upon us, right at the door. And this is one of my favorites, bread pudding, but coconut cream bread pudding I think is better than just plain your regular bread pudding. And what you see me adding here is a mixture of brown sugar and cinnamon. And a few sprinkles of toasted coconut.
Okay, it has cooled down a bit for me to be able to go in here and let you guys see what the inside looks like. Give you a close up here. And look at that. Mm, mm, mm. You talk about good. Look at that. I'm about to grub, guys. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. It's got that crunch on top. My goodness. You definitely want to use some of the ends of the bread. That really gives it texture. This is so good. I think I'm gonna add some ice cream to it, but my goodness, this is delicious. if you hear me smacking but mm, this is too good the butter mm, mm, mm. Mm, honey. 